Welcome to the strikingly beautiful and historic Catoctin Baptist Church outside of Percival, Virginia, 50 miles up the Potomac River from Washington, D.C. I'm Jeff Mitchell, a living history actor for the National Museum of American Religion, along with Colleen Pryor, a museum research associate. We are launching this crowdfunding campaign to raise $25,000 and save a stunning piece of our shared American history. We are raising funds to relocate and begin the restoration of the Chapel Car Goodwill. Now you may be asking yourself, what's a chapel car and why should we save it? To answer that question, let's take a quick look at our American history and the trains that did so much to establish the Western United States. On May 10th, 1869, America entered a new era. In a small valley in northern Utah amid sagebrush and cedars, the last spike was hammered into the railway ties at Promontory Point. The Transcontinental Railroad was complete. Building a nationwide network of cars and rails was an epic undertaking. A mere decade after the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad, America had 93,000 miles of railroad tracks crisscrossing the country in all directions. Settlements sprang up to house and feed the large numbers of workers who made it all possible. For churches of the time, the sudden rise of rail towns presented both a challenge and an opportunity. Building a local church in a small frontier outpost was impractical. Many rail towns vanished as quickly as they had appeared. Reverend William Walker, Episcopal Bishop of North Dakota, had an idea. If this new mode of transportation had brought about these new challenges, could it perhaps be part of the solution? Walker proposed building a railroad chapel car that could travel through his diocese. If people on the expanding American frontier couldn't easily come to church, Walker reasoned he would bring the church to them, and thus was born the chapel car, an ingenious invention, and a forgotten part of the American religious tapestry. The cars followed standard dimensions. They were surprisingly large and comfortable, 60 feet long and divided into two sections, with living quarters for a missionary couple and a chapel that could seat about 70. Some were even outfitted with stained glass. The chapel car was, in every respect, a fully functioning church on rails. The Goodwill Chapel Car, built by Baptists, was dedicated in 1895. Its journey began in Texas, but continued into the western states of Colorado, Nevada, Idaho, Oregon, and California. Following decades of service, in 1938 the car reached its final destination. The Goodwill was parked behind a hotel in Northern California and quietly forgotten. As time went on, the exterior faded, the windows lost their panes, and the painted ceiling, with its once vibrant hues of turquoise and gold, began to peel. The goodwill seemed destined to become a mere ruin, absorbed into the landscape, an unwanted relic of an earlier era. But that fate was temporarily averted in 1998, when the car was rediscovered by historians who recognized its role in the story of American religion. Today, goodwill still sits on private property in its derelict state, and it needs relocating within the next three months. The National Museum of American Religion has been working closely with train expert Richard Anderson, restorer of Goodwill's sister car, Messenger of Peace. With his expertise and experience, Goodwill's restoration will be done with the highest craftsmanship and historical accuracy. The Goodwill is a moving and meaningful thread in the colorful American fabric. This campaign intends to raise $25,000 to relocate and begin to restore the Goodwill to its original state. Your tax-deductible contribution will help ensure that the goodwill is not forgotten. Once restored, the car will be placed in the National Museum of American Religion, where its forceful presence will help the museum, the first of its kind, fulfill its purpose to invite Americans and all visitors to explore the role of a religion and religious freedom in shaping the social, political, economic, and cultural lives of Americans, and thus America itself. We invite you to help rescue the goodwill. Please donate today.